Hey you guys, coming to you with week one of my hair growth journey. And the um, reason I decided to do this is um, because I have cut my hair off. did a big chop since November 2012, back from November 22nd, going around to Thanksgiving. And um, so yeah, and uh, I have cut my hair off two inches. And it's still a two months going into my book top. So my hair been cut about almost 10 months. Because today's September 19th. So almost 10 months. And I have cut my hair off two inches. Sides top. I have been cut off two inches um, during this 10 month period. And um, and my back has been cut off. I had it taped and I decided to let it grow out. So, um. Yeah, so I'm deciding to grow my hair six inches in the next nine months, and also um, I'm going to be doing olive oil, three teaspoons of olive oil, and an egg treatment once a week. Now, during this time period, I was, uh, you know, massage my scalp um, two, three times a week, you know, to make sure that my scalp is stimulated very well. It's very important to make sure you have good circulation for your hair. I already have that mix. I'm going to be ready to apply that. And um, do my you know exercise about 45 minutes before I go to bed, and then I'm going to do um, avocado mats once a month. And um, I like the avocado mats. Just mash up avocado. Um, you can use either olive oil and honey, and sometimes some people like to use a squirt of lemon. I do it time to time. I use fresh lemon, about a teaspoon of fresh lemon, and mix it together. And leave it off about 30, 45 minutes in. Your hair is nice and shiny, and um, no, lose natural products on my hair and to all my scalp because what I'm going to plan on doing is instead of me doing uh, what I usually do, sew-ins and stuff like that, I just want to make sure that um, I'm going to do about approximately 12 last week. So uh, after I do my treatment every week, I'm just going to braid my hair back into cornrows about you know about nine, ten braids or something. And once we can take it down, what I did notice this week is I usually use um, hair, um, cankle on hair when I braid my cornrows to the back and do my sewing. But this time, you no, know, sometimes I don't in the past, but uh, I decided not to. I want less pulling on my hair as possible. And I just pull it back together and um, I don't wear a wig cap underneath. My scalp needs to breathe and uh, I don't want to mess up my hairline and my edges are very nice. I'm going to be, because it's going to the fall. Yay, my favorite season. Not just because of my birthday month, birthday season, but uh, anyway, so it's going to the fall and uh, I'm going to be wearing wigs. So I'm going to buy me about three nice wigs and um, my mannequin heads. And I have a couple. I made a couple of caps um, with Chinese bangs and about 12 inches. So and I have a long way with but I'm going to buy like three more and I love the fall because you have to wear all your pretty hats, right? And um, I feel like pretty much it. So once a week, you know, braided, you know, deconditioned um, for my treatments for my hair, I'm going to be using tea tree oil because it's an anti, you know, bacterial something to keep, you know, scalp really nice. Shea butter going to be using on my hair just to keep, you know, nice. Um, no, you know the wigs, but goodness, your hair I've got to be looking like a mess. This I just took down <laughs> my braids down and decided to do once a week to keep my treatments up. And it's just going to be easier for me to take down, easier for me to manage. I can still get to my hair or my scalp and my hair can still grow out very nicely. Um, so this is my hair growth challenge. I drink plenty of water, um, exercise, and um, take my multivitamins and um, definitely buy some vitamins. Um, there's a prebiotic hair vitamin. It costs $19.99 a month local health food store, which I usually go to Eleanor's in Chicago, 107 Halstead, and um, it works very well. You get like 30 tablets for $19.99, of course, the month supply. That's pretty much it. That's what I'm going to be doing um, for my hair, and I think I'm going to, I'm sorry, my daughter's 13, so I think I'm going to be doing it um, for her hair as well. She, my mama, her hair is pretty long. She wants to grow longer, so I'm going to be doing that. It's the perfect time started because it's going into the fall and winter and usually the hair is like the dry yes um you shouldn't have too much of a problem with dry hair i usually just have a problem lately with um a lot of dandruff um 
you know, I don't know if it's like psoriasis or something, but I had to start using uh, Neutrogena T-Cell Shampoo, which is a therapeutic uh, salicylic acid um, shampoo. And uh, I use that maybe twice a week. And I also use the scapulcin um, on my hair as well. And it helps to help control the itching. And uh, that's why I say brand new wigs because they're nice. You know, you take care of them, huh? shape them and trim them up, you know, make it look nice to fit my face. And uh, that's pretty much it. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And uh, I'm going to get my lashes and stuff done and rock it, looking good, let my hair grow out and rest. No heat, absolutely no heat. What I'm going to be doing is um, after I do my treatments um, at night time, usually, sometimes I do it during the day, but sometimes I do it at night time because sometimes you know, my husband works overnight, so sometimes I, you know, I have to leave out, I do what I need to do. And, um, you know, just going to do that and uh, let it air dry. By the time I get up in the morning, you know, let it air dry, put a bonnet or something on it, and um, then I let it start to, um, you know, blow dry. Sometimes I let it dry in a towel, but no heat. Sometimes I blow dry it if I want, you know, fast dry. I take and blast it maybe for about two minutes just to get, you know, the extra dampness out and let it pertain to air dry. And um, that's about it, but I'm trying to be using no heat on my hair. I do have a relaxer. So how do I plan on doing that in my health girl challenge? Well, I will be continuing to relax my hair every 8 to 12 weeks so that won't be I won't be doing another relaxer until mm, about October November ish um, going into my birthday because I don't want my relax here to break off I'm not trying to go all the, I'm not trying to go natural um, because after my I go through the process of my challenge I still will be after I finish let me say I said nine months so I so, I told November, December, June, February, March, April, May, June. Um, going to the summer, I would like to wear my own hair. So, um, that's uh, the summer one with my own hair, natural styles, and stuff like that. Get my scalp some chance to breathe. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Stay forward to looking forward to week two and see um, you know, what changes and how my hair um, process is going and start. And I um, look forward to talking to you guys soon. Bye.